Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another NECA Toys Disney's Gargoyles video, and today, very stoked, this is the first of the three Rookery Brothers. It's not Brooklyn, it's not Lexington, it's the big mamma jamma himself, Broadway. This is the ultimate action figure from the Gargoyles toy line, and the artwork on this box is amazing. Coming soon, Macbeth, on Broadway, of course. Wink, wink. On every single side of this packaging, we have glorious photos of the figure. Open it up, you get to see a nice photo along with everything that the figure comes with. On the back side of the box, you got nice photos. You get a little bit of a write-up. Teaches you the history about the Gargoyles cartoon by which these are based off of. You get to see Broadway's guts in full glory. And then every single figure that has been released thus far minus Lexington. He is coming soon. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. And here's the barcode as well. Now, mine came from the Target up. They briefly had these up, but look for him to start hitting store shelves soon. If you're interested, I'll put links down in the description below. So, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA toys straight from their Disney Gargoyles action figure line, Broadway. And while I got all you defenders of the night here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Disney Gargoyles videos. Now, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, here is everything taken out of the box. Comes with some nice accessories and some big old wings, as we've come to expect with the Gargoyles line. He does come with some nice popcorn. It's well painted. That looks like some popcorn, and it comes from the episode Deadly Force, right? When he sneaks into the Western and starts eating popcorn, and that's all he does throughout the entire episode. Nothing else happens. Nice little creases of the package, right? More on that episode later. Now, he does come with this big old turkey chicken drumstick, which is the classic cartoon chicken turkey drumstick, right? As he is seen eating numerous times in the first episode, I have always wanted a giant chicken cartoon drumstick like this. And I know they make them. They're called lollipop chickens now, so I gotta get me one of those. He does come with some wall slime. Now, this is from the first episode when they're all down in the rookery and they're kind of looking around and then Broadway just walks over the wall grabs a piece of slime off the wall, and eats it. So that is that slime. Keep this look in mind when we start talking about it with the various looks that Broadway comes with because I think it's a missed opportunity in some ways to really kind of utilize this type of accessory. Now, he does come with a very angry, snarling head. Broadway is more of the nicer type gargoyle, right? But when you do anger him, yeah, he does get... Very ferocious. It's painted beautifully. He's got the teeth. He's got some great colors to him. And yeah, he's definitely angry. Now, he does come with a pair of extra hands. These are the climbing buildings type of hands, or I'm just being ferocious hands, along with some fisted hands. And both of them are painted quite nicely. Now, this weapon right here, it's this big old spiked ball mace club. Painted beautifully. True neck of fashion, right? Very deadly. These are actually extremely sharp, so be very careful with these. But it's a nice weapon, and if you know the old Kenner line of gargoyles, well, then you'll definitely recognize it. So it's a little harkening back to the old Kenner line, along with this big old axe right here, which is equally as cool, equally as sharp, too. Now, if you notice, there's a little peg on one end, and they do hook together. Again, just like their old Kenner counterpart. So that's a nice little throwback. He has his big old wings. If you've ever collected the NECA Gargoyles line, you know how these wings go. They are no different. They are exactly the same as every other previous kinds of wings for the Gargoyles, and they're painted beautifully. So it has Broadway's color scheme, which looks awesome, nice texturing. It is fantastic. But as always, just go very easy with the wings. And of course, you get two wings for old Broadway. Broadway himself, very nicely done. I like what they got going on with the Gargoyles line. Very happy overall. Of course, there's always going to be some things where you're like, yeah, I wish they would have done this. Yeah, you know, that whole jargon. But for Broadway, for making an action figure of this character, I feel like overall they nailed it. He's even got little peg holes 
on his middle toes right there. That's a nice odd touch, right? On the back side, he's got his big old bendy wire tail. Again, much like the wings, all the gargoyles have bendy wire tails. Although, now that I keep looking at them, I wish that they kind of painted the tails just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. It's just a bendy wire tail. It's definitely meant to help support him, and they all definitely support the gargoyles. You got the peg holes in the back where you fit in the wings. You got the big old gut. It looks good. This head portrait does look good as well, although I really wish they would have had this be on a hinge so you could open up and close the mouth. Even on the snarling head, I do wish that they did that so he could eat the food that he's coming with. Same exact type of articulation, although just kind of go slow at first. You don't want to move anything too quick. He actually has a nice upper diaphragm, upper fat diaphragm kind of thing. He'll spin at the waist. He's got the legs, the haunches, the weird feet. They all work. Everything's pretty tight. No problems there. The bendy wire tail has a little bit of articulation towards his butt so you can move it up and down. But again, the tail is just really nice. It's a thicker bendy wire but it certainly does the trick. And once you get the wings attached, he looks very cool. And that's a very cool looking Broadway again. Very happy with the NECA Gargoyles line. I'm thoroughly enjoying collecting these, but the wings take up so much space. It's a giant collection with the wings alone. So I'm just gonna say the draped wings are, are definitely a welcome when you get them, much like we've already seen with Goliath. He holds all the food beautifully. Now, he only has one drumstick holding hand, weapon holding hand. The other one you could say is used for the popcorn, which is totally fine. But then it presents a problem with the two distinct weapons. Likewise, if you wanted to pose him eating, he always have to use the open mouth snarling head, which makes him look like he's mad at the food, not eating the food. You know what I mean? Likewise with the slime, you've got no mouth to open it up and then throw in his mouth, which would have been kind of cool, right? When it comes to the weapons, like I said, he holds them fine. He looks good when he's all posed out, but I ran into a problem with the one weapon holding hand. It's very loose. And unfortunately, you can't get it in there. It's not like, oh, it's off a little bit. You can just adjust it. No, it's a very loose hand. So in certain poses, it's going to flop right over. And again, I do like the little callback to Kenner with having the weapons attached to themselves. That's really nice. And he totally looks good sporting it. Although it's a little out of character for Broadway, to be honest. To really scale him up with Goliath, Hudson, and Bronx, in all honesty... I think he's a little bit short. Not terribly short, but shorter than I think of with Broadway. He's supposed to be kind of the big chubby guy, and I think he's just a little bit on the small side. When you pair him up next to Demona, and then also, of course, his other rookery brother, which we will be taking a look at, Brooklyn, they're roughly the same size, Brooklyn and he, and Demona, I feel like, is too tall for him, right? So that's just a little issue with the scaling. Now, one thing I want to rectify with my recent video on the Sega Genesis Goliath is that I totally pulled out Thalog, and I go, you know what? I bet you the video game wings for Goliath will work with Thalog. And they totally do, and I think that they work tremendously. The colors, the look, the fit, it's Goliath essentially. So if you wanted to use those draped wings on him, you can totally do that. And real quick, just to harken back to the episode Deadly Force. Now, Broadway does not come with a gun, of course. Neither does Elisa Maza when that figure comes out. However, that episode really stuck with me. Seeing Elisa Maza on the ground, blood and all, Broadway with his hands, blood and all, the show never pulled its punches, but I will always remember that episode for its moral lesson. And if you've never seen this episode, definitely give it a watch. When we look at Elisa, I will have more on this episode to say. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new NECA Toys Disney Gargoyles Broadway Ultimate Action figure. Again, maybe a little bit on the small side, not anything that's too crazy. Couple hindrances with the hands, but overall, it's a very fun addition to the Gargoyles line. We all know the wings are ridiculous. They're precisely one D tall shelf wide, if that says anything, right? So it will take up space, but they are an amazing set so far. I mean, look at all of them. We got a lot more on the way too, but you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Disney Gargoyles. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, stay tuned. 
We got a Brooklyn coming soon. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.